get close, so why you wanna touch us? Cause my team is so hard, my team is legit. Madden 20, Snoop Dogg is, I get it. I got cleats on my feet, jersey on my back, helmet on my hair, ready to attack like that. Down in Mississippi and New Orleans, big Snoop Dogg out of Madden League. Your team is off the hook and you don't really want none, but if you do, come and get some. Tell your mama, and tell your daddy, and tell the whole damn world it's some Madden territory. Tell your mama, and tell your daddy, and tell the whole damn world it's some Madden territory. Come get some, if you want some, but you ain't bad enough, so you can't take none. I'm Big Snoop Dogg, and I'm the only one, and when it comes to Madden, all y'all fools my sons. <laughs> Bag up off me and watch you lose. Snoop Dogg is on the mic, I'm giving Madden blues, and if you choose to run up on me, you gon' get laid out so fast. Cause I can get you with the run or I can hit you with the pass. I can't be touched and I can't be schemed. Roll your when I'm in a mud league. 2 0, 2 0. Madden time on you suckers. Y'all can't get close, so why you wanna touch us? Cause my team is so hard. My team is legit. Madden 20, Snoop Dogg is. Now get it. in the game. Up and up, it's magic. With the gang, we ball out, it can't get tragic. All we got, we gon' let you, let you have it. Stuck in my ways, think I need to change my habits. What would you do if you were me and didn't have it? Look in the mirror, now I'm feeling like a savage. Tell my son I love him for him, I'ma make it happen. Now my dream's reality, not going back to back to back. You say that you proud of me, I turn my back, you laughing. Now I hit the scene, they like lights, camera action. Living in a dream, now my music, they be blasting. Step out, I'm a star, always in the latest fashion. Had to set the bar, bar try to catch me lacking. Bank account for my son, he won't have to struggle. You can see it in my eyes, all I do is hustle. They tried to knock me off my feet, I'm ready to rumble. Felt like I ain't eight in weeks, working off the muscle. Oh yeah, oh my, we ride for my brothers, no lie. All you, all you can die, never wrong, they right. I ain't changing my side, yeah, we in it for life. If it's funny, yeah, we it's right. magic. With the gang, we ball out, it can't get tragic. All we got, we gon' let you, let you have it. Stuck in my ways, think I need to change my habits. What would you do if you were me and didn't have it? Look in the mirror, now I'm feeling like a savage. Tell my son I love him for him, I'ma make it happen. Now my dream's reality, not going back to back to back. You say that you proud of me, I turn my back, you laugh. Hey, how could you lie to my face? People claim that they be loyal, they be taking up space. See my Roski lose his heart when he was fighting that case. Took so many yells, I'm not going back to those days. I'ma treat you how you treat me, do you like how it tastes? Shawty use a use of can't treat you like my ace. I got way too many problems to be worried. I'm straight. Me and Craig, Craig, Craig had to watch for the Jakes. On the road, this road crazy. I get 80 a show. Save my money, stack it up. It look like I'm like I'm like, look like foreign cars driving fast. I never done this before. Get yeah, yeah. out my problems. Let me let me find up and up. It's magic. With the gang, we ball out. It can't get tragic. All we got, we gon' let you let you have it. Stuck in my ways, think I need to change my habits. What would you do if you were me and didn't have it? Look in the mirror, now I'm feeling like a savage. Tell my son I love him for him, I'ma make it happen. Now my dream's reality, not going back to back to back. You say that you proud of me, I turn my back, you laughing. Playing skills, you did. 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 Playing skills, you did.
Watch out flip. Watch out whip. Uh, uh, I'm in the whip. Uh, uh, I'm in the wrist. Uh, uh, I never switch. Uh, uh, ice in the wrist. Uh, uh, Call in the wrist. Uh, uh, pull in the wrist. Uh, uh, watch out flip. Watch out whip. Uh, uh, I'm in the whip. Uh, uh, I'm in the wrist. Uh, uh, I never switch. Uh, uh, ice in the wrist. Uh, uh, I get the money, but I never switch. They say you switch it, you win. You know they came from the bottom and now we is lit. You was lit. I gotta get it, I gotta get it. You hate it cause I took no risk. My bitch, you wanna be famous, huh? They hell like they made us, huh? You know I'm icy in Vegas, huh? This for the f that hate us, huh? I make a lot of new money, huh? When the f not save us, huh? Your f be liking my flavor, huh? I think it's cause. Ice on the wrist, on the wrist, on the wrist. Watch out, man. I made a switch, I made a switch. It's the NFL on EA Sports as you get a look inside Gillette Stadium here in Foxborough. All the success in New England over the last few decades, and this crowd has never been more enthusiastic. A moment ago, the Pats emerged from their locker room. They are set as they'll square off with the Cleveland Browns. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone.
for a touchback. for Nick Chubb. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for the first down. They run again on first down, Chubb. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. It's a gain of 10 and the Browns are going to get a first down. Well, I think that's what they're going to need to do here in the first half. You've got to take some pressure off of this young quarterback. And no better way to do it than to establish the running game early. Hurry, hurry! On first down, they'll run with Chubb. There he goes again. And finally taken down at the 30-yard line. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. So back-to-back -back big runs, picking apart this defense on the opening drive. I thought this was a passing lead. I thought this was the era we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. They didn't get the memo, and I know this to be true. Offensive linemen still, to this day, they want to run the football. They want to fire out and hit people across the line of scrimmage, and they're clearing space. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. They go with Chubb on second down. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. It'll go as a loss of a yard and it'll set up third down. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football. But that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. To throw Mayfield. He's got his tight end, David Njoku. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. They'll run it with Johnson. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. It'll be a three-yard pickup, and it brings up second and goal. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Cleveland. Antonio Callaway taking it in. And the Browns take it right down the field and score on the opening drive. Greg Joseph on for the extra point. It's up and through to make it 7 0 Browns. Makes the score around 7. Patriots nothing. Greg Joseph sets the Joseph goal. now to kick this one away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Patriots take over first and 10 at their own 25 yard line. So Brady and the Pats take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Hey, Delta. Hey, Mike 52, Mike 52. Check pass, check pass. 52's the mic. Hey, 66. Shotgun now for Brady. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Excellent pace, money throw right there to move the sticks. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. The tackle made by the linebacker, Joe Schobert. 
All right, quick observation, Brandon, because early on in this game, I'm seeing linebackers playing with their noses close to the line of scrimmage. And my guess is the wheels are turning on that other sideline. As a play caller, you're filing that away right now, aren't you? Yeah, you're trying to find that opportunity later on when you can play action them or stick something to them between the second and the third level. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. From midfield, here's Brady. They sack him back at the 42. Miles Garrett just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. You can't block me. You can't block me. Hey, hey, watch this. Watch this. Alert! Kill, 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 kill. Hey, turn it up. Turn it up. Tighten up. Tighten up. Tighten up. Rip. Hey, Alabama, Alabama. From the gun, it's Brady. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Morgan Burnett. And he's able to bring it up five yards shy of midfield to the 45-yard line. Well, they didn't exactly show patience there, did they? Just down a the score, they come out firing right away and compound things by throwing an interception. They put their defense in a really tough spot. Hey, team six, team six. Following the interception, Mayfield. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. And that is incomplete. Showed off the arm strength there, but to no avail. Second down. Johnson was the intended receiver, but it'll be second down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Check 52 is the Hey, pick your game. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. It's caught inside the 25. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Give him 32 on the play. I know we love our jobs. And pretty much any play we see, we're pretty you know, excited about. The big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely love for. How about that one? That was great. And what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game. Orbit. First down, Mayfield. Going for it all. It was put at the line of scrimmage and intercepted. Picked off at the 25. And the return here will go to the 31 yard line. Charles, there's something special about one of those big D linemen bringing it in off the tip there. Really nice coordination. Very much so. And I think what we've seen, and I'm going to put it in about the last five years, maybe a little bit longer. Coaches placing a bigger emphasis on ball drills, even for defensive linemen, because possession is so key. When you got a chance to take one away, you want people comfortable with the football, and it paid off there. I'm here all day. Check 31, check 31. Ozzy, Ozzy. So after the INT, it's Brady. And the Browns pressure gets to him that time, and he's going to go down. Olivier Vernon coming in with some force for the sack that time. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I fire it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. Throwing on second and long. Brady. And he's taken down. Back at his own seven, Miles Garrett able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. So, Brandon, we sat in with a lot of coaches, and when they talk about things they want to accomplish offensively, I'm not sure that sack and sack are on their play sheet. 
After the sack, they'll come up now, third and long. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see them run the ball here just to try to get some space. And indeed, that's what they'll do as they run it here. And he's going to be taken down here at about the 10. It's a gain of just three, and the offense likely going to yield to the punting unit here on fourth down. We often talk of situational football. Let's just call it team football. The defense did their job, got off the field, brought the punting situation, so they're turning the ball back over to their offense. You think those guys will get along very well right now? Of course they will. Defense helped the offense. Now it's their turn to take it downfield. Well, that'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And the Browns will take over first and 10. At their own 37-yard Heading out as a Cleveland offense now as they get set to take over here. A tale of two extremes already in this game. A touchdown pass on their opening drive followed by an interception last time out. Now, sounds like things balance out, right? What's that, that mythological thing that we do? If you have a candy bar, have a diet soda with it, it balances it out. And we know that's not really true, right? Because the interception, that sting lingers a little bit longer. Got to come out now and put together some nice plays. Fans, a reminder, well, I have a note card here that says ad-lib halftime preview. So I guess let's do just that as we'll hand things over to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando when this one reaches halftime. Did I do okay? You did great. Not a bad job. Hey. Uh, you know, hey, writing hey, down hey, your ad -lib. If you put it, I'm going to read it. I'm Brandon Garner. Mayfield now on second down. Fourth down. Here as he's taken down. The sack by Michael Bennett, the native of Tiny Independence, Louisiana. Mayfield now. Over the middle of the backfield. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. They do get 10 back, but still a ways to go on fourth. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. This isn't fourth and inches. This is fourth and 14. Hurry, hurry! Check the call, check the call. Mike 52. Run, run, run. Drop deep, drop deep. On fourth down, they snap it to Mayfield. Pressure comes and down goes Baker Mayfield. Dietrich Wise and the Patriots take over and they're going to have terrific field position. Now comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And things haven't started so well for this side. Two drives, two punts. So now you've got to start looking not just at play calling, but which guy's going to step forward and say, okay, let's get this thing done. Because within that unit of 11, sometimes one guy can make a big-time play and break through the barrier. At the Browns, 23-yard line. Set 53. Check 53. Come on. Hey, hey, boy. Mike, 53. 53. Mike, Mike. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? A little eager there coming in from his outside linebacker position. You think the hard count got him there? Yes. And maybe that extra, you know, that, that extra emphasis on it. Got him to jump, and they picked up five yards. So the penalty certainly helps them out as they come up on second and five. Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. Watch a slap. Watch a slap. Watch a slap. Working from the gun is Brady. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's right. Seven yards there at a first down. We always talk about having to read defenses and how complicated that is. Well, this was an excellent read. Read the pressure 
and got rid of the football before it even got to him for a nice game. And when they're blitzing like that, running back usually a good spot to go with the football? Without a doubt, because he's right in your Wait, sight line or he's near you. So you're able to just get it to him easily. And once he gets in space, that's usually a good matchup for him. Hey, Fox drop, Fox drop. 53, 53. Sugar, sugar. Throwing on first down is Brady. And that's going to be caught for a Patriot touchdown. An 11-yard touchdown. And the Patriots are within an extra point of tying this one up. Extra point good by Gaskowski. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23 yard line. And now Cleveland geared up to take the field. And we're under a minute to go here. What's been an even first half all time? Yeah, still time to make something happen, too. A couple of completions, just string them together. Could get in the field goal range. Let's see what happens. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him the first down. That was an excellent job of recognizing the situation. His first read wasn't there. Heck, his second read wasn't there. But he bought himself a little extra time scrambling out of the pocket. Got to the stick. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jason McCourty. You can easily see the logic. It's a tie game. They just wanted to press it a little bit right before the half, hoping to get one more score. Now, easy to second-guess the result, but now you have to think after that interception, just a field goal, and they're behind at the break. Yeah, I think at the half, the head coach just says, look, that's on me. I wanted to press it, but it's because I believe in you guys. Matchbox lights. Rip. On first and ten, here's Brady. Over the middle, goes son. And down he goes, taking it inside the ten, just shy of the five at the six. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Wait, that? Wait, 20? Right there in the middle, 55. All day, baby, all day. Jack and reload. Mike, 55. Check, 55. Mike. Let him know, let him know. Let him know, let him know. Hey, Echo. Mike, 55. Mike, 55. Mike, 55. Hey, Alabama, Alabama. Man, son, you gonna see me in your nightmares. Mike, 55. Mike, 55. Hey, eat, eat, eat. 72. Operating for the gun. Brady. And this is caught. Touchdown, Patriots. Dontrell Edmond. In the final seconds of the first half. And the Patriots have taken the lead. No, oh, he missed the PAT. No good on the extra point, so a letdown there. And this will stay a six-point ball game. Goskowski now, after the touchdown, he'll send this one away. This will be taken in at the one. Try to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And he will perhaps get back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. And time has run out on this first half. So we have reached halftime in what's a six-point game at the break. As we send you to our EA Studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken.
Brady and the Patriots now first and 10 at their 25 yard line. Under 10, under 72. Kill, 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 turn it up. Kill, 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 turn it up. Back, back, back. Check 72. Kick it. They begin the drive on the ground. It's right. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid game. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. 36, 36. Hey, check it. Five. Wait, they are pushed back eight. five yards Wait, by eight. the delay of game, second and Wait. eight. Check it back. Check it. 53 Linda. They stay on the ground and play. And he'll get about three here as he's out to the 30. Yeah. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. From the gun on third down, Brady. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. Picked up by Denzel Ward. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that. Is that happening before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. Flashy little move, but unable to reach the 40. The safety, Patrick Chung, is the one who makes the stop. What's the old expression? Three yards in a cloud of dust? In this case, it's dust-covered pellets. It's no longer that old grass that we used to play on right and chew it up. Now, we've got that artificial surface. You see the pellets go up. Still a nice play by the defense. Mayfield able to get this one to his tight end, Njoku. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. The goal for any offense versus his own defense Find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing round. Check 24, check 24. Point it right, point it right, point it right. Hurry, hurry! Mayfield just getting the play on. Looking for the end zone. Back of the end zone. Could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. I'm not quite sure how he wasn't able to hold on to that one in the end zone. A great opportunity lost, but a lot of relief for the defensive guys. When they get into film next week, they're going to want to know what happened. Where was the breakdown that almost allowed a touchdown? They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. We have not seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long, and they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they look to throw. Completing it to the right side, Johnson. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. The Browns passing game finding its stride. They've got another first down. Mayfield now looking to throw on first down. Here as he's taken down, Dietrich Wise Jr. picks up his second sack of the afternoon. And that's the second sack of the game, but this player disrupted in all phases, whether he's going upfield, coming underneath, you name it. He's a big-time guy you have to block. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. 
We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers are just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. Fourth down, and on is Greg Joseph for the Browns field goal. From the left hash mark, it's a 43-yard attempt. The kick by Joseph is good. And that will cut the lead back down to three at 13 to 10. So a decent drive there to start the third quarter. They only salvaged three out of it, but they inch a bit closer. Yeah, but still lots of time to go in this one. That's why you hear that clapping on the sidelines, right? Hey, got some points. As you said, inching their way back in. Time left to go out and get that victory. So Brady and the Pats take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Hey, ball 66. Tight door, tight door, tight door. Go, Bandit. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And Brady going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by the former first-round pick, Demarius Randall. And he's going to return it to the 21-yard line. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they've thrown an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. Here's Nick Chubb as they try to fire up this run game. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. There to stop him, Juwan Bentley. Not a big run on the first quarter to drive, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad play. Sometimes you're just trying to settle in, get your guys a little bit of contact, and get things moving. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. A gain of 13, it's a first down. They'll run with Chubb. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. Line of scrimmage, again the four-yard line, second and goal. They'll try again with Chubb. And he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. Call it no gain that time, and now it's third and goal. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Browns touchdown. From four yards out. And once again, the Browns are back in front. The big fellow was the recipient there for that touchdown pass, and it seems like more and more the tight end is the guy you have to worry about most in the passing game. No problem there on the extra point, and the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Brady and the Patriots now, first and 10 at their 25-yard line. The drive starts with a run by White. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. From the gun, Brady. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Patriot first down.
So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. You got tight. You got tight right there. Both bandit. First down, here's White, pushing forward for three up to the 48. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. The last run got three, now here's second and seven. Let's go, Tackle, let's go, we got this, we got this. Hey, 66. SOS. 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 Opting to run again here with White. And he's going to take this across the 50 into Brown's territory. That'll be a pickup of four as they work with his four-point fourth-quarter lead. And that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even on rundowns. It confuses the blocking assignments. It doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level. As big of a play as we've had in this one so far. This is third and three. Go, go. Check, 53 is Mike. I got wide, I got wide. Mike, 53. Regular, regular. Operating from the gun. Brady, nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Miles Garrett getting him once again his third sack of the afternoon. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Patriots with the football as we get you reset. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Down four late. Got to go for it here on fourth down. Here we, here we go, D. Here, here I come again. Here I come again. Regular, regular. 53 is the mic. 53. Check 53. Good track. Good track. Let's go on. No, 66. 72. The Pats do snap it. It's Brady. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that is incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Browns are going to get this thing back. Excellent field position. I think you can breathe relatively easily now. Yeah, you can, but still, you got to stay vigilant. Can't give up anything cheap and easy. That could put you in some jeopardy. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Two on the catch and run. 
Wait there. I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. Check it. Reload. 53 is the mic. 53 is the mic. Hey, tight, tight. Ozzy. Ozzy. 150. Brady now on first down. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. They went with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. Here we go, D. It's just, it's, just, it's just me and you. It's just me and you. It's just me and you. Kill, kill, kill. Alpha. Hey, exit. 53 to Mike. 53. Check 53. No gain on this defense. No gain. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Throwing again. Brady. And this is going to wind up incomplete. The coverage there too strong on the deep ball, and now they face a third down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Gold 50. Mike, 53. 53, Mike, Mike. Check Mike, Alpha. Pick the edge, pick the edge. Come, come. Throwing his Brady on third down. He's going to let it fly. And incomplete, almost intercepted. Had a great shot of picking that off in the end zone. And now fourth down. Try and get it all back with one big shot right there, but even if successful, that doesn't get them all the way back to where they need to be. Can't totally abandon throwing the ball underneath as well. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. They'll run for it. This is White, and he won't get there. They stop him a few yards short of the line to gain. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and that's going to be just about all she wrote for this one. For the Browns, good starting field position as they have it first and ten. Just like that. King, King, King! Well, the lead late in the fourth, but Mayfield's going to throw it. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Try to get it to Landry there, and that'll bring up second down. The beauty of being able to play his own defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands. Guess what? Creates a lot of confusion. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. Lawrence Guy gets him for a loss of eight. What great push up front. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Mayfield in this Browns What's offense staring at a third and long now after the sack. We got three. We got three, fellas. We got three. Third and long for Mayfield. Escaping the pressure right. And it's incomplete. They're still throwing to the very end. But now this game is over. Charles, in this one, I think the storyline really, the fourth quarter coming into it neck and neck, but they were able to separate, put their foot on the gas, and get the win. And since you mentioned neck and neck, I'm going to stay with a little bit of a horse racing theme. It was that close, and then really went into the gallop and finished it strong. One more horse racing theme. Go. Just, I am glad you posted today. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. And with that, we say so long from Foxborough.